Hi guys, today we'll be unboxing the M8 Scott by Rubicon Models and I want to say first of all a huge thank you to Rubicon Models and Jamie for sending this kit out for review. Now I'll be completely honest guys, my knowledge of accurate World War 2 and World War 1 or any accurate model for that matter, my knowledge is super limited but I'm trying to actually get into that side of things so the fact that I've been sent these models is absolutely fantastic it really is these are 156 scale so I normally work at 135 scale I mean you'd say that's sort of like Space Marine scale but what I'll do guys is I'll just take the manual out of the box so we get a little manual and this kit looks fairly straightforward to go together I'm just having a look at the manual like so and you also get some water slide decals and I'm sure you all, all you guys out there know how much I love water slide decals and they look really really cool and the sprues come in plastic bags to protect them which is always a good thing I wish GW did that with their plastic sprues I mean it's been on the other occasion not too many that I've got a sprue and it's got a big scratch on it uh, where it's rubbed up against the other sprue so having them in plastic bags is definitely a great help uh, what I'm going to do now guys is just cut the video take the sprues out the poly bags and we'll have a look at the uh, detail on the sprues a little bit closer okay so we'll have a look at the first sprue and we can see some of the top parts of the hull there looks like some interior detail there but again guys I could be wrong on some of these things as you know I'm no expert on these kits we also get a gun there and I can see that the detail on these 156 kits you'd think you'd possibly lose detail because of how small it is but not really not from what I can see on these uh, sprues here I mean there's scale my finger and you can see some of the intricate detail there on that piece um, we'll have a look at the next sprue and we can see part of the track assembly there some lovely detail there if you're into 40k and as I said before that those sort of kits are normally about 135 scale if you was going to give them a scale well these being 156 what these tanks would make absolutely fantastic grot tanks if you wanted to convert them that is I was just thinking looking at it I was thinking looking at those tracks and and the uh, top plate there would make fantastic grot tanks So that's a detail there. I'll just zoom out a bit so you can see all of the sprue. Right, I'm going to put this tank together. I might do it on this video or it will be on a follow-up video. And we'll see what the tank looks like uh, put together. Okay guys, so I've built the tank. And in the manual, it shows you that you can build it, if I can just zoom out a little, as two variants. You can build it as the M8 Scott or well, the M5A1 Stuart and I went with the M8 Scott variant and as you can see uh, here scale wise 156 to a Space Marine because uh, people that watch my channel will be quite familiar with Space Marines I would imagine and you can see how small this tank is but as I mentioned a moment ago this would make the absolute awesomest grot tank it really would I mean let me just get you into a little bit closer now and show you some of the details on the tank it's got some really fantastic details um, I've got to rub that down I've made it left a glue mark there and down there so I'm gonna have to sand that down but yeah the tank looks absolutely fantastic I'm not sure whether I'm gonna paint it up as a grot tank and do a little bit of conversion work there I'm really not sure or I'm gonna paint it up in authentic uh, World War colors I'm unsure yet because I just love love the idea of painting this as a grot tank I, I don't know yet but let me know what you think of the uh, tank guys and as I mentioned earlier on there'll be a link in the description box down below uh, where you can check out 
Ruby Car models and have a look at the kits for yourselves there. So don't forget to tickle the like button if you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in the next one.